Do you wake me up? Look at her. Ah, oh, the rage. No more secrets. Yes, I woke you up. Good for you, man. This is gonna really be crap. How could you do it? I tried not to. I'm gonna be safe. She, uh, she's spinning out. Oh no. Aurora, please. Stay away from me. What's she gonna do? Like, I wouldn't even know. She'd wanna kill him. She's doing an amazing job of acting, this man. It's... Yeah. Oh man. He forged a ring and everything. Had to know this would bite him in the ass. Had to. There's no way that we weren't going to deal with this during this movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, clothes gone. Now, all you got to do, man, is just, just do not even go anywhere near her for the next year. Like, really, dude? Can I talk to you? Look, uh, she's, she's, oh. she's, she's, she's on edge. But look at her, she's absolutely flipping out. Oh, I love that they've done this realistically. I can't think of a reaction that would have been more normal. Oh, yeah. It's worse than getting woke up accidentally. Yeah, when you know that the person you actually give the most craps about is doing it. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd just let her do it, man. Honestly. Actually, you might be doing him a favor, yeah. I don't think he's gonna wanna live if he can't have you anymore. He's beyond that point now. It's not that I don't sympathize with uh, Jim, but I mean, come on, the victim of the story is Aurora. Yeah. Aurora, I know nothing I can say will make this okay. I was so alone for so long. The night I first saw you, I was ready to... You saved my life. Yeah, don't give her ideas. And I know that's no excuse for what I did. I read everything you wrote. I fell in love with you. And all of a sudden, it was like, oh, I wasn't trapped anymore. She does need to hear this. And I wish I could take it back. But I can't. From his point of view, you know. Yeah. I don't care why you woke me up. You took my life. That's all you can do, bro. You gotta leave it now. There's a lot of glitch crap going on in the ship, isn't there? Yeah. We're gonna get a nice, convenient disaster to uh, bring everyone back together. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Oh. Uh oh. Arthur! Oh. Uh. Tuesday's my day with Arthur. It's Wednesday. What have you been doing, man? Ours all yours. Aurora, we love you. What are we gonna do without you? When you wake up, I'll be gone, but just know that I will never forget you. You're my best friend. Why would you do that? You were never happy here. I know. Nothing was ever enough for you. Yeah, that. I hope you finally find someone who fills your heart, and I hope you let him in. Wow. <laughs> Have fun. Take chances. I love you, Aurora. Bye. She had people that gave a crap about her. Yeah. Are you soiling my bar stool? You want to make things, you got to get your hands dirty. And what have you been making? Improvements. Oh. I put a tree in here. <laughs> I thought he was figuring out how to wake people up and stuff. Yeah. This might earn a couple of points. <laughs> <laughs> First floor. Uh oh. Like, come on, man. I need to sort this out. There's something going really, really funky. We got what? Another 80, 87 Don't years. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Oh, no, I wouldn't be doing that. Oh. Ay. <laughs> Who the hell planted a tree on my ship? What? Please don't tell me it's an AI. Let it be a normal person. Oh. Oh, it's Morpheus. What, what, what is he doing here? 
Oh, things just got very interesting. How did he wake up? Who did that? I did. More pods failing? Anybody else awake? Just me and him. How far along are we? 88 years to go. Okay, yeah. Hibernation failure. That never happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three people, three pod failures. Eh, uh, not exactly, yeah, but... Let's deal with that later. Yeah. We're still on course, so whatever's wrong with the ship, NAVCOM is still on the job. There's something wrong with the ship? Three pod failures, yeah. Two. But everything else has been going nuts. We should be getting diagnostics from all over the ship right here, but there's no data. Grand concourse. Any more trees I need to know about? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's one of the Roombas. These robots have been breaking down. This guy makes 15. Last week, my door broke. I was trapped in my cabin for two days. You were? Oh. <laughs> oh. You take decks one and two. You take decks three and four. I'm going down to the hibernation bay. Check our pods. Yeah. Gotta work together. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Is he going to figure it out? Are you supposed to be making your rounds? I'm finished. And he needs to know what you just saw. My pod's more complicated. A bunch of system failures that all happened at the same time. Explains why I'm feeling so bad. But Aurora's pod, you did this. Yeah. Yeah. All this time, I'm thinking you're the one lucky son of a bitch that gets stuck with Aurora. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long were you alone? A year. Still. Sucks for her. Damn. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like a year's not long enough, really. I feel like... You say two, three years, you're, you're dealing with a whole new metric. I mean, check the pandemic. Lots of people were alone for a year. Yeah. He woke me up. He took away my life. I know, and I'm sorry. There's work I It's might. murder. Technically, yeah. You're right, Aurora. But the drowning man will always try and drag somebody down with him. It ain't right, but the man's drowning. That's very true. He, he didn't know there was a way out. That's a different point of view, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, are you okay? You should go rest. Yeah, but just a couple hours and then back at it first thing in the morning. I feel like there's more to him than... Uh, I think he's dying. Hibernation uh, hangover. Well, I think, like he explained, his pod had multiple failures, so he probably didn't get woken up right. Yeah. Oh. There you go. I think he's proper dying. Yeah. But yeah, I guess if you're struggling, you're clambering for air, you're going to grab anyone, anything. And also, like, knowing that there's no way out, as you said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he thought he was just going to die alone. And yeah. if he didn't have the bottle to kill himself, then he's struggling. So I guess the year makes more sense now. Yeah. Ooh, oh. Oh, no. And she's drowning. And who's going to help her? Wake up, dude. Oh, that would be horrible. Oh. Wow. This is visually amazing. This is my worst nightmare. Yeah, I mean, I can't. It's always making me really uncomfortable. Like, come on, dude. Come on. Does he know she's swimming? I mean, it's her routine, right? Yeah. Tell me she dies. Come on. No, nah, I don't. I don't I... Oh, okay, it's fixing. Oh, ow! Ooh. Someone's gonna have to grab her. She can't. Oh, wow, she's lucky. She came back to life or consciousness so she could swim. <laughs> like, yeah. She was out. It started two years ago, power surge. 17 failures in one day. How bad can this get? A mission critical failure is imminent. So we're stranded on a sinking ship. That kind oh. of brings a whole new light. So if you think about it, if he didn't wake her up, she would have died in her sleep. B yeah. Not a lot of things big enough to hit this ship that hard. With diagnostics out, we'll have to find it ourselves. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, give us the information first. Scan complete. 612 disorders found. 612 disorders? Override on my authority, ID 2317. Pan-systemic necrosis. Progressive organ failure. Necrosis. 
What's the treatment? Various treatments are possible. None will meaningfully extend a patient's life. Oh, no. Just basically a painless death. These sedatives will alleviate your suffering during these final hours. Hours? Yeah, look at him, man. We need as much information as you can possibly give us, like, right now. Yeah. And give me your wristband. Oh, I've got shivers, man. This is this is really, really um, awesome movie. Great concept. Yeah. Should have took the damn pills. I'll go get them. No, stay here. Sit Got his uniform on and everything. Oh. You two take care of each other. Oh, that's going to be so difficult. My ID. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Fix shit. Find out what's wrong. How do I look? Amazing. Look magnificent. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Ladies love the dress <laughs> Aww. Aww, this is killing me. What do we do now? Now it's no matter what, we have to work together and get this thing done. Yeah. I'm going back to engineering. Can you fix this? I need your help. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Save some lives. Can't we wake up some of the crew? It'll take them too long to recover. We don't have that kind of time. What are we even looking for? Something broken. Something big. That thing in the middle. How about that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty big. Is it broken? It seems okay. What's next? Power plant. This way. Power plant sounds like something big. Yeah, this is a big thing. <gasps> oh, yeah, this is wrong. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I need to seal this hole. Yeah, tell me there's an easy fix. Oh, okay, right. Pressure normalized. A hole in the ship. More than one. Yeah, I was gonna say, how did the hole happen? It's gotta come through the ship to get here, right? Yeah. That even happened. The ship's supposed to be meteor proof. I guess one got through. And it was a pretty big meteor. It was like comet like. It's hot. <laughs> I think we found it. Can you fix it? Uh, not me, but maybe Jim can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How can we fix this? Come on, man. You're an engineer. There's replacement parts for everything. Light. Sorry. I think there's a replacement parts for everything except this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oi. Yeah, just think, he'd have had to do this by himself. But we fixed it! Reactor vent failed. Manual override required. Okay. Vent failure. Ooh. Outer door non-responsive. What does that mean? He's gonna have to go outside. We've gotta open that door and cool the reactor down or the whole ship is gonna blow. How? I gotta go out there. Oh, and get vented into space. I open the door, I get clear. You blow that fire into space. What happens to you when that door opens? Heat shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna gush out the door. You ain't gonna get clear. Might need this. Oh, don't say this, please. Oh. Man, if he dies saving her life, that's gonna be kind of mind blowing stuff. Jim? Jim? Yeah, say stuff. Come back to me. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I can't live on the ship without you. That's killing oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he comes back. This will suck. I know. There's part of me thinking he has to. I mean, it's typical that he would. But then a part of me is like, maybe the ultimate forgiveness. Oh, crap, oh. man. Just blowing out bolts. What's the matter? Are you okay? Nothing. Go. Sure? Go. I mean, you're thinking about him dying, but maybe she'd die. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't even, Trin. No, let's deal with one uh, thing at a time. Where are you? I'm at the door. I'm ready. Just say when. Here goes. Don't do this guy dirty. No! 
What? Oh, oh. This is on? some game bullshit. He's got to hold it. Yeah. Oh, no. The door won't stay open. I think I have to stay here. Hold the door open. Oh, this whoa. Vent reactor. Yeah, you're going to have to do it. Either he dies or everyone dies. You don't understand. If I open the door right now, it'll kill you. I'm hoping not. <laughs> Or this ship is gonna go. I don't care. You gotta do you it. Die, I die. <laughs> oh. There are five thousand other people on this ship, Aurora. We have to do this. Maximum pressure reached. She gotta do it. Come on, man. Do it. <laughs> oh. What a dude. Wow. Temperature dropping. Khan, he's got to be okay, right? Please, please, please. Oh, he, he did it long enough. He's still tethered, though, right? No, it's not. Oh, uh, what? No. He's just spinning out. Rebooting process initiated. Jim, please say something. She's gonna need to go and get him. Oh. Oh, he's conscious at least. He's going straight into that afterburner. Oh. Or whatever dude. engine it is. Oh, you don't want to go in there. Uh, no. Suit pressure dropping. Oh, amazing. Just keep adding some stuff. <gasps> it worked. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You can come in. About that. What's the matter? Are you hurt? My tether broke. I can't get back to the ship. I'll come out. I'll pull you in. Oh, please. Can she reach him at this point? Aurora, I'm sorry. No. For everything. Shut up. I'm coming. <laughs> I wish we'd have met in 90 years. I'd have built you a house. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> it's killing me. Oh, she ain't stopping. <laughs> <She's really> <laughs> <laughs> it's not just grabbing him. I mean, he's going to be out. He's, he's out of air, isn't he? Yeah. I bet you any money that the thing stops like two feet from him. Oh, please. Oh, no. <laughs> ah. Oh, my God. That's crap. I just knew it. I knew it. Did she grab his line? It's right there, man. She she needs she needs to yeah to do that yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at her face. <laughs> I mean, Come she's on. quite the actress, man. Her face when she grabbed that cable. I mean, uh, got me. Oh, he opened his eyes a little bit, didn't he? I don't think so. But she knows there's a medical pod now, and I'm guessing she's got the the clearance. Yeah, he told her she might need it. I'm sorry. The patient is dead. Well, resuscitate him! <laughs> resuscitate him. Oh, no, Post-mortem no. operations require authorized medical supervision. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> Override on my authority. ID one seven. God. One seven. One eight, three something. Two three one seven. Two three one seven. ID two three one seven. Oh, she's gonna put everything. <laughs> Multiple procedures are not recommended. Override! Executing. Her acting's the thing that's killing me, honestly. She gets that rasp in her voice. It's... Yeah, she sounds yeah. fatigued. Yeah. She sounds genuinely upset. And that, that moment of like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. It's killing me. He's getting every treatment under the sun right now. You owe 80 million dollars. Yeah. Come on, man. It's got to work. You can't put all this effort in and it not work. You need this delay. You need the delay. It's going to add weight. Come on. Oh. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> and her reaction is probably going to kill me again. <laughs> She's getting in with him. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Man, I love this movie. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm really glad we decided to do it. I mean, when you look at the, 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 the title and the logo and everything, it seems very suggested that this is what we were going to get, but I... I had no clue. I just fancied me some Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt. That's about it. <laughs> and they're going to give this guy a good send off. Yeah. And the crew will have no idea that this happened because by the time they wake up, I guess in they're dead. There's something I have to show you. In command mode, it turns out the auto dock has an option called stabilize and suspend. It stops all metabolic activity. Hibernation. Oh, they could go. What are you saying? If Gus's idea can be like hibernation. Inside the auto dock, you can go back to sleep. Can can you both do that? But there's only one auto dock. And you're gonna lay down in it and fall asleep. And you'll wake up on Homestead too. And you write your book. Oh, I mean, there's no way I'd take it. If, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the only obvious choice. She didn't deserve this. But I would never see you again. I'll come and visit you. <laughs> oh. Aww. But she's gonna know what she lost. It doesn't wipe your memory. <laughs> It just freezes you. So she'll wake up feeling like it's seconds later and yeah. you'd, you'd have just died. That's Aww. insane, man. It's insane. He, I mean, honestly, he got a lot out of this. Tuesday's my day with Arthur. <laughs> oh. Lovely as oh. ever. Thank you, Arthur. You're looking very well yourself. They're going to have one last blowout, do you think? Yeah, I thought she already did it. Something I've wanted to give you for a long time. She not gonna do oh, it then? Took you long enough to ask. <laughs> <laughs> She's not doing it. Champagne. I'll wait. <laughs> Hell of a life. Hell of a life. I would have done the same choice as her, to be honest. I don't know. The moment she turned it down, I'd wait. She left, she left the room, and I'd jump in that pod and I'd go to sleep. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Homestead Two. Oh, we get to see them. Wake oh, up. Eighty-eight Other years later. Well, yeah, maybe. I don't think we're gonna see those two. Eighty-eight years later, that I don't know. Unless they had a great life, a hundred and something. My fellow passengers. One hundred thirty, forty years. If old. you're reading this, then the starship Avalon has reached its destination. Still finished her book. A lot happened while you slept. Oh my oh. god. They planted a whole garden. We got lost along the way, but we found each other and we made a life, a beautiful life, together. Oh wow. Oh, okay. Amazing. Really awesome movie. And it wasn't even a sad ending because, I mean, they're dead, but they probably had a very long life <laughs> together yeah. with the whole ship to themselves and a garden. And it looked like a, a, a cabin in the middle of the, the floor. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. This film was, honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better scenario to put these two actors in. They have an amazing chemistry. I feel like those two just get, they just get along. Yeah. I've seen interviews with Jennifer Lawrence. I'm really not up on par with her movies, and I'm glad. I mean, that's bangers, right? What's that? We did four Hunger Games and this one. I loved every yeah. single movie she's done that I've seen. And Chris Pratt, well, I mean, you just can't go wrong with that guy. I mean, I'm straight and I love him. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I feel like any other guy wakes her up and does all that to her. Uh, you better be Chris Pratt looking, because <laughs> otherwise it's going to be a very dirty job. I, I don't know. I, I was I was up and down this whole movie, and then the fact they they made it that if he didn't wake her up, chances are because he they made a point. She he couldn't have done this without her. She needed to be there to pull the lever. Yeah. So if he hadn't woke her up, they all would have died anyway. The only yeah. way that they could survive was with that scenario, and then also he gave her the choice to go back to sleep, and she didn't take it. It, it literally it, it it makes everything that happened right. Because it was yeah. so questionable up until that point. I was like, I don't know, man. He, he just he did. He pretty much murdered her. And uh, but yeah, go on, you go. Yeah, it was it was an amazing movie. It was a an amazing space romance. Let's say uh, I loved it. I loved the chemistry between them. And yeah, the 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 choices you have to make. Like I was thinking about it. Like he's trapped for a year, knowing that there's no chance there's something else out there. Yeah. You know, when when we were trapped for a year with with the pandemic and stuff, 
we knew there'd we be an end, we, you know. There'd be an end somehow, and you're still on Earth, and you still can talk to your family over the phone and stuff. But yeah, he good point, had yeah. nothing to go to. It was still questionable what he did, but he, I mean, he probably would have lasted another month, and he would just open that gate, you know. There, there, there was. If he killed right. himself, they'd all be dead. Yeah, ultimately as well it's great in ultimately. hindsight it's great knowing that that would have been the outcome because then it makes everything better but yeah i mean up until that point i'm like dude yeah really <laughs> and i would have i would have honestly just told myself look if i could give myself two years um without doing it then maybe maybe i'd like to be able to justify it in my own head that i went on for as long as i possibly could uh before doing it but i mean a year like you say with no outlook no confirmation that it's ever going to end and you're so close to killing yourself i feel like yeah and it was a split moment it, it was like on the circuit board and he went fuck it hit it and then instantly regretted it yeah you go yeah like, sick to his stomach yeah, about it was almost it. A something in his brain said do it and regret it later yeah you know i think we've all yeah. been there i think we've all done some stuff and it's just like okay just just do it and regret it later and not to that magnitude but choices in life do I buy that car? Do I not buy that car? Uh, what if I buy it? No, 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 okay. Damn it, I've done it, but now I've got to live with it. Okay, decisions made. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, what? I Honestly, I swear, we're going to have to watch more J, J, J Lawrence, J Law. That's what she's uh, likes. <laughs> that's what she likes me to call her. Um, we'll probably have to watch more of her stuff because I just, I love her face. Her face yeah, is so yeah. good and her acting is I mean, she's she's got some acting chops. She's really good. She sold me one hundred percent. This is the little panic moment when she realised she had she had the cuff and that she could resuscitate him. Resistant, she just yeah. she just panicked and she was setting me off all the time. Yeah, I'm always going to sign up for a Chris Pratt movie, but now I'm down for anything that Jennifer Lawrence has done. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm so glad <laughs> this this. I don't even know where it was on the poll. I'm just glad I saw it. I, I needed to see this. I didn't know I did, but I needed to see it. And it's a soothing, kind of soothe, soothing ending movie. Like the end was soothing somehow. Like every plot was covered, as you said. If it wasn't like everything was going to end on that ship, that would probably make it worse. But because that was going to happen, it's, it makes it a soothing ending. And the fact that she chose to stay rather than being forced to it. Yeah. Is also a soothing ending. So, yeah, uh, it's a very, very, very good movie. I loved it. Yeah, the kind of movie you know you're not going to get a sequel to and you kind of don't want there to be a sequel to it. But if there was one, you'd still watch it. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I don't, it definitely doesn't need a sequel. I mean, they can't do a sequel. <laughs> but if there was one, I'd still check it out because it, it really, um, yeah, it really got me this movie. It was very, very good. And I'm, yeah, okay. Uh, what have we got next up uh, on our. Robin Trin Thursdays. We've got um Oh, we're doing John, John Wick. Yeah, John Wick. Yeah. Yeah, and then the other movies that we do as well. But yeah, okay. Um yeah, it's a good month for me. Because this one I wasn't sure about. I didn't think I'd I didn't think I'd hate it. I just didn't know if it would I, I honestly didn't expect it to be this good. Yeah. Um bit bit of cheese in there, you know what I mean? But like oh, yeah, the way but... Jennifer Lawrence acted it, that's what I'm talking about. This could have been very cheesy, but I mean, her reaction to how, what the situation was spot on. Couldn't, it was. Yeah, couldn't yeah. have asked for anything more. But yeah, I've, I'm really out of this one. What What about you? Yeah, I'm all done with this one as well. All right then. Yeah, uh, thank you for joining us, guys. And we will catch you in the next one. Bye. Cheers. Bye, guys. <laughs>